hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i wanted to tell you five skincare myths and why they are false okay so um these are the myths that are so popular everybody heard it everybody even believes in it but they are myths for a reason okay so i'm gonna share with you all of it and i'm gonna tell you why they are myths okay so the first um myth that i'm gonna tell you is that uh the more expensive a product the better it is and this is not exactly like something brands tell you um but a lot of people will tell you that oh have you tried this brand and this brand is the the brand that is like super expensive and then they're like oh it's so good this brand is so good like everything about their brand is so good because they're expensive that's why but um, like it is a, like an implication that uh, this product is good because it is expensive. But actually, that is so not true because I have tried. I've personally tried, and I have also personally um, check out um, the ingredients and formulation of a lot of expensive products, and they are actually really bad. Like they put a very very little amount of good ingredients and they put a lot of bad ingredients and the price is surprisingly expensive so i, I mean some people some brands they wanted to just put a very high price so that you would expect that it's gonna be good but actually um, when you maybe use it long term then only you will realize that it's actually not good or maybe uh you you kind of realize that actually cheaper products are just as good so um, definitely not true uh, more expensive is definitely not equal to better so, okay so the next skincare myth is the organic and natural are good these two words are like played around in every skincare products so they always say like this product is organic this product is natural it's like like these buzzwords are like out there uh, to mostly scam people although it's not all uh, like some products they are natural and they are good but a lot of products they just kind of use these two words to make you buy their products you know I well personally I like natural extracts okay uh, so there are some natural extracts that if you have oily skin and you have like uh, skin with a lot of white hairs, comedo, uh, you wanted to avoid like for example algae or plankton. Like I know Biotherm has this product line that has plankton in it. They claim that these products can um, like solve any of your skin problem but actually maybe it's going to solve any of your problems but it's going to cause comedo it's going to cause white hair so it's kind of like solving a problem with a problem definitely not everything natural is good uh there are a lot of natural extracts that are good but not all like poison ivy is natural but it's not good and do you know that borax is natural like you don't want to put borax on your face okay so um definitely all na not all natural is good the also favorite words <laughs> organic like I'm so tired of a lot of companies use the word organic organic because organic is not something to be thrown thrown around to be honest um, my advice to you guys if you don't want to don't want to be like scam because of this organic and natural products is don't ask this question in the first place don't ask like is this product organic because um, chances are uh they're the sales or whoever it is they're gonna be like oh yeah yeah it's organic you know <laughs> so um yeah it's just kind of the words to make you pay you make, to make you like spend money on them but actually like if you take a look at it organic has a very 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 wide uh meaning so it go, it's like organic in what way is it organic in the t in terms of harvesting the the um ingredient is it organic in terms of like um growing the plant ingredients or maybe like taking care of the for example if this is not a vegan product so maybe like uh taking care of the animal uh, ingredients animal source ingredient ingredients or maybe like is it organic in terms of like the packaging is it organic in terms of the delivery is it organic in terms of the keeping the product so it's very broad uh, when when an ingredient is organic 
they're not actually uh, make that much of a difference compared to products that the ingredients are not organic so it's like they, it's just like it's really just out there to make you spend money it doesn't actually give you any kind of benefits and it's not clear in what way is it organic okay so the next uh, skincare myth that i'm gonna bust today is um using fancy ingredient is better usually a lot of like expensive or high-end kind of uh, skincare brands they're gonna tell you that we use this um flower that only blooms once a year or maybe we use this kind of honey that uh, extracted from uh, a land far far away <laughs> you know so it's actually to tell you that oh this is rare so that is why we put such a high price but actually if you take a look into it um there uh it's kind of hard to tell the difference if uh, those rare ingredients are the one that makes your skin better or is it those that are like cheap and basic ingredients that are you know you can find in any other product in any other drugstore products in at a at a much much lower cost yeah it's like it's it's very unclear it's just out there again it's just out there they just say it so that you might spend money i mean they might be true but they might also be wrong so it's kind of like a gamble uh which i mean i don't like to gamble but if you guys are the type who likes to gamble i mean why not sure but if you wanted to uh, be a smart buyer and you wanted to buy the right thing i suggest that you don't really need to like uh buy this kind of products that has rare ingredients because they're not it's not a guarantee that they're gonna be good okay and just probably just stick with those ingredients that are proven and like a lot of people have been telling that they are good okay the fourth uh, skincare myth is that some products can make your pore smaller <laughs> i am so sorry but any product at all in the market that tells you that oh this product is gonna make your pore smaller don't buy it like just don't buy it okay here's the thing um your pore can go bigger but chances are it's not gonna go smaller i'm not sure about laser treatment if laser treatment actually works then maybe laser treatment is the only way to make your pore smaller skincare whatever it is how 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 much the price it is it is not gonna make pore smaller <laughs> like it just like it just doesn't work that way the number of reason why a uh, pore can go bigger is probably because you maybe use some kind of ingredients that are drying and therefore um, your skin produce more sebum and when it produces more sebum it needs more space to accommodate that task so that is why they make the pore um, your body makes your pore like bigger so that it can accommodate the task okay so yes it can go bigger but it can actually go smaller pore also can't open and close so <laughs> if you're thinking like put some eyes to make it close it doesn't work that way because your pore are pores they they don't have muscle for something to contract and to expand it needs muscle okay so for example uh maybe your lips you wanted to make it smaller or make it bigger like that uh, because your your around your face area you have muscles that is why but for each and every small pores that we have they don't have muscle actually so uh it it can't actually like uh, contract bigger and then make it smaller it doesn't work that way okay the other reason why that that may be a scam is because um some products they have like a silica or silicone uh, ingredients in them so those silicone ingredients when you apply it onto your skin it is actually going to fill the pore and that's why it kind of make it look smaller or maybe like make it look blur um but actually it's not that your pore is smaller it's just that the, the holes are filled uh and that is why it appears smaller okay but actually your pore is not getting any smaller i am so sorry to tell you guys and it's also because of genetic that some people have big pores i have really big pores you guys can definitely see it from the camera i have such big pores and when i heard about uh this knowledge then i kind of give up already on finding products because i mean yeah that's that's how it works it just doesn't work that way it won't 
uh, get smaller. The last um, skincare myth that I'm going to talk about is that peanut can make acne. I got this kind of question last time. So some people are like, oh, I don't want to eat peanut because it's going to make me grow acne. Well, this kind of myth is not exactly false. It can be true to some people, especially if you are allergic to peanuts. So, um, and sometimes some people when they eat peanut, they do have this kind of reaction when they get acne or maybe they grow some whiteheads. So it differs to each and every person. Uh, and it's also pretty hard to track because sometimes you can eat something else and that's the one that caused acne but you eat it along with the peanuts so that's why you thought it's a peanut so it's it's kind of blurry but if you do know that you have allergy to uh, peanut then definitely avoid peanut at all costs like mm, it's probably gonna give you acne but if you're like don't have any allergy and probably like you also eat anything and you don't get any um acne because of the food um well then by all means like go ahead and eat the peanut you know sugar is very inflammatory but peanut is not really like uh, in like in terms of the food category they're not really like inflammatory it's just that some people do have bad reaction to it reactions and stuff like that it like it can be any food <laughs> like some people uh, are allergic to dairy some people are allergic to eggs uh, and those foods can make um acne so it's really not just peanut and not everybody uh, will get acne because of peanuts all right so uh, i know that was the last one but i'm gonna give you a bonus okay so the bonus uh, skincare myth that i wanted to talk about today is some makeup product can take care of your skin so this is kind of like i mean last time if you guys remember the hype around bb cream or stuff like that they always tell you that um this foundation when you apply on your face is gonna take care of your skin it's gonna improve your skin or something like that like it's like a skincare but also makeup uh, to be honest skincare and makeup is completely different and i never actually like expect uh, makeup to take care of my skin because makeup is something temporary so that is why i kind of like ignore whatever that goes into makeup as long as it's not like a banned ingredient uh, because i don't expect my makeup to be taking care of my skin that is why the thing is called skincare so makeup even though they sometimes claim to you that um this kind of foundation when you apply it's gonna it's gonna make me like uh, i don't know anti-aging or maybe whitening or anything like that so the truth is that uh, makeup actually in order for it to be makeup they do contain a lot of like bad ingredients for our face like for example maybe the colorant okay so the like makeup is technically just dirt that you apply onto your face but the dirt is like in so many colors so that is why you can kind of like this uh design your face by using makeup right so yeah uh, the makeup itself the ingredients are not good and when they add good ingredients it's like it's not gonna work <laughs> you know what i'm saying so uh for it to have good function on your face on your skin it has to be made out of all good ingredients so it can't be like a mix of good and bad or maybe like the good is overpower overpowering the bad like maybe the good is this but this big and the bad is just this tiny bit but for makeup it's always like the bad is bigger than the good so it's it maybe it has the ingredients that can take care of your skin but it's probably not gonna work like the maximum a makeup can do for your skin is probably not damaging as much but it doesn't definitely um, take care of your skin if you know what i'm saying so yeah if you uh, want makeup that take care of your skin i'm so sorry but chances are you're not gonna get it <laughs> honestly so just make sure that when you apply makeup to remember to clean it up like maybe before you go to sleep or something remember to fully clean it like maybe with uh, oil cleanser a gel cleanser a balm cleanser or whatever it is like that's it that's just the key of having a good skin even when wearing makeup all right so um that is all the skincare myth that i talk about today i hope this video is beneficial for you guys 
and if you like this kind of video uh, i have more skincare videos on my channel so make sure to check out my channel and if you like the contents that you see maybe go ahead and subscribe to my channel thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye